ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಕಾಶವಾಣಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಜಿಯಲಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸ್ಟಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಂ ನಾವು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಶಿಕಾಂತ ಕರಿಂಕ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಎನ್ಎಂಎಂ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ನಿಟೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಡೆಂಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಅಪ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಥ್ರೂ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ನೋವೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಲೀವ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ and sustainability there would be a revolution going to happen in the very near future the conventional way of job givers versus job seekers would not be sufficient to feed the fast growing youth population of india hence a new revolution called startups has been established as an urgent requirement by government of india the indian government through ministry of education and its various platforms and schemes have been encouraging faculty and students for research startup and innovation through training and rankings like nirf araya etc incubation is also supported by society for technology and entrepreneurs park atal incubation center and so on the ministry of commerce and industry through the department for promotion of industry and internal trade is helping in the establishment of companies however the question arises as what type of startups would create economic development the startups which can lead to economic development must be based on research and innovation and not based on conventional copying or reengineering in order to have a successful research and innovation the country's intellectual property rights law must be enforced in letter and spirit as for example take the case of united states of america the prosperity of the us much depends on the innovation and the protection of the intellectual property rights hence the us laws are deep rooted and well implemented in protecting the intangible rights the president of the united states irrespective of the party they belong invariably utter the word innovation they are very clear about the gains their country has made through the innovation the us law on intellectual property rights protection gives substantial right to the inventor whereas it is very harsh on those who do the infringement or stealing hence several companies have vanished due to heavy infringement penalties levied to individuals or companies for the theft by the supreme court in comparison to the united states although the intellectual property rights law is well entrenched on the paper in india its implementation in practice needs further reinforcement although there are indian court judgments with penalties on infringement they are all rare cases and even the penalty amount is insignificant the long drawn procedures and no penalties encourage the infringers at present although the government of india is promoting the concept of startups in a big way there is a gap in terms of the support required for the research work hence instead of deep rooted research if copying or reengineering is continued it would divide the present quantum of opportunities instead of creating newer opportunities when new products or processes are not created it would create abundance of the existing product or processes and since everyone is creating the same thing in the same business it would create a situation of more production or surplus production less buyers leading to a situation of recession similar to what happened in the year 2008 however if the aim of startup is to establish altogether new products or processes or systems which are different than the conventional types leading to low cost high quality or improved functional aspects or saving foreign exchange through import substitution then it is a very welcome thing this can happen through out of the box thinking and through disruptive innovation the establishment of computer business in the late 80s and its deep penetration in the daily life today is of gigantic proportions of roughly around us dollar 200 billion business in india similarly the penetration of cell phone business is in unimaginable proportion for this a strong infrastructure of research and development has been established by developed countries and multinational corporations but not much by india at present the country is spending much less of gdp on r&d and invariably many of the companies do not have a strong r&d base there has to be a churning 
in the way the government industry and the professional bodies think about this aspect the culture of r&d innovation and startups to be viewed holistically but not in isolation and has to consider all the future needs and also in a sustainability way for example if some experts are to be believed semiconductor industry is treated as a highly confidential sector in india by some agencies whereas in contrast it is believed that some semiconductors are home made in china india is having a serious problem of foreign exchange spending in buying petroleum products added to this pain it was feared that buying electronic items will surpass the petroleum bill hence the government has seriously undertaken work on semiconductor industry as a part of make in india to avoid dependency on other countries generate employment and save foreign exchange similar opportunities are seen in artificial intelligence health sector products agriculture and sustainability products or processes in all sectors further it would be worth mentioning a particular case study of the sunrise sector of the indian economy the automobile industry indian automobile industry story is a very successful one the government of india and the society of indian automobile manufacturers have been successfully driving the indian automobile bandwagon in the last 30 years after globalization in 1991 with 100% foreign direct investment in order to be successful they have jointly prepared vision documents called automotive mission plan 2006 to 2016 and automotive mission plan 2016 to 26 and the latter is in force now while carefully studying amp 2026 it talks of 65 million job creation in the ongoing 10 years period of professionally highly skilled semi skilled and low skilled workforce both technical and soft skills in the last amp 2016 India emerged as the global hub for small cars and 31% of the global sales of small cars were manufactured in India as of 2016 the turnover from automobile industries is more than rupees 6 lakh crores and provided more than 32 million direct and indirect employments and export was US dollar 8.9 billion India also emerged as a strong leader in the manufacture of small diesel and petrol engines commuter two and three wheelers low power tractors etc it is expected that by 2026 india would be among the top three nations in the world after us and china in engineering manufacture and export of vehicles although surprisingly india started manufacturing cars only after the 1950s by 2026 the auto sector is expected to generate us dollar 300 billion revenue per year which is a contribution of 12% of total gdp and creation of 65 million jobs by 2026 auto sector drives other manufacturing industry like auto components machine tools steel aluminum plastics chemicals electronics and so on in the service sector it will support it and software banking insurance repair and maintenance transport and logistics including public transport however on the research front to catch up fast it is suggested to have government support for technology acquisition fund to help industries to acquire cutting edge technology in light weighting engine powertrain and auto electronics through technology transfer joint venture acquisition and buyout as a path for auto companies to acquire global best capabilities for research design engineering and testing in automobiles r&d is required to have low carbon transportation for compliance to national and international regulations and sustainability aspects indian r&d has opportunities in multi mode efficient and affordable transportation with low cost technologies clean fuel types which will be a win win for government industry and people take the case of china a lot of r&d work is published through high quality research paper publications and also market ready innovative products through patenting china is competing with the usa for super power status including in advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence although power of us cannot be undermined as it is 
ఏ వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్ లీడర్ ఇన్ ఇన్నోవేషన్ వాట్ ఇండియా నీడ్స్ టు డూ ఏ కల్చర్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్నోవేషన్ హ్యాస్ టు బి ఫర్దర్ ఇన్ఫోర్స్ టు డూ డిస్ట్రప్టివ్ ఇన్నోవేషన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు డివియేట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద కన్వెన్షనల్ రీఇంజనీరింగ్ టైప్స్ అండ్ స్టాప్ ప్లేయింగ్ సెకండ్ ఫిడల్ టు సమ్ వన్ ఇన్ దిస్ డైరెక్షన్ న్యూ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ పాలసీ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు బి గేమ్ చేంజర్ ఇఫ్ ఇంప్లిమెంటెడ్ ప్రాపర్లీ అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ లర్నింగ్ ద బేసిక్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ టు ప్రొవైడ్ ద రిక్వైర్డ్ స్కిల్స్ టు ఇంజనీరింగ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ టు బిల్డ్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ క్రియేటివిటీ టు డూ ఇన్వెన్షన్ త్రూ రీసెర్చ్ వర్క్ లీడింగ్ టు ఇన్నోవేషన్ అండ్ స్టార్ట్అప్స్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ బిట్వీన్ స్టార్ట్అప్ అండ్ ఎంటర్ప్రినర్షిప్ ఈజ్ దాట్ స్టార్ట్అప్ ఈజ్ సపోజ్ టు గివ్ మెగా బిజినెస్ యాజ్ యూనికార్న్ అండ్ మెగా ఎంప్లాయ్మెంట్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ దిస్ విల్ మేక్ మేక్ ఇన్ ఇండియా ఏ హైలీ సక్సెస్ఫుల్ వన్ లీడింగ్ టు ఆత్మ నిర్భర్ భారత్ another important aspect to be kept in mind is the ever expanding gap between industry and the academics there may be two schools of thought one saying gap is reducing and the other saying gap is widening whatever it may be there is a gap the practical sense of gap is industries do not publish highly confidential business matters or they don't even go for the lengthy process of patenting until and unless academic institutions don't go close to industries and don't work together these finer aspects will be missed ever by academicians leading to widening of gap hence an utmost care has to be applied to bridge industry institute gaps moreover the concept of professor of practice in academic institutions must be given higher attention commensurate with their experience and to have their say in the academic skill building according to alvin toffler for the new generation to be successful it has to learn unlearn and relearn one has to be ready for the change and be innovative in approach 3 to 4 decades back the internal combustion engine specialists were contented with the fact that the electric drives were not taking off because of the lack of battery charging stations lack of good batteries poor power density or energy density or both lack of good pickup poor durability and life and so on but the whole lot of things have changed in the last few decades with the governments and corporate are determined to go for battery or electric vehicles and also venture into automated vehicles how and why this change is happening to understand this one has to understand the concept of innovation as stated by david brier which is based on the concept of dots the life is made up of dots it is the connection of the known dots in a conventional way is the present business in the process some of the dots we might have missed some we might have been ignored and some we might have intentionally forgotten that is how any given factory or business presently runs through interconnection of the only known dots other dots are left out it is a sort of status quo in the existing system of dots whoever finds the new dots and connect them to find new things is the innovation the fire the wheel the bicycle the tv the computer the internet the mobile phones are all such findings and were products of the new dots which others missed during their invention finding and connecting of these dots for making useful things are necessary for moving the world forward it is believed that great entrepreneurs or innovators like steve jobs have not ventured into something unimaginable but have connected the unknown dots within the system and were highly successful india can gain substantially in research and innovation in artificial intelligence healthcare agriculture new energy or new fuels and in developing sustainable products and processes and so on by the year 2026 it is expected to have huge innovation opportunities and roughly us dollar 300 billion businesses in india in artificial intelligence games and software us dollar 300 billion in automobile manufacturing and us dollar 300 billion in electronics products any innovation we do must be carried out keeping in mind planet earth as our mother and working on sustainability as the only way forward thank you dear listeners that was the talk startups and economic development through research and innovation in engineering delivered by dr shashikanta karinka this talk came to you from the studios of akashavani mangaluru